Jason here, Blood Church coming to you today. Very quick end times update, Israel365news.com. This is a, an older article that um, ran across, Israel Rabbi Reveals the Day of the Messiah Arrival According to Kabbalah. Now Kabbalah is sat satanic paganism uh, indeed, and uh, it's a Jewish sect of it. And um, it was an interview with renowned Israeli rabbi Daniel Esor. And what he did was he warned about, of course, a glo glo globalist new, new world order. And his quote is, if Hitler is the Third Reich, then the New World Order is the Fourth Reich. And um, again, we get into the teachings of Kabbalah. So again, I'm not putting, this isn't biblical, this isn't scriptural, this is an interesting article because they try to predict what's called um, their Messiah showing up, which, which will be the Antichrist. You can see here, they're close to their redemption. But what, what he warned about was a one-world government ruling the world. From the Hebrew calendar year, Tafshin Pei Alif, September 2020 to September 2021, from Tibet, which is January, February, until Elul, August, September. And those will be nine months where the New World Order rules. We've certainly seen the New World Order. I'm not so sure that it's ruled, but it's certainly been uh, getting in that, in, in that direction. And so here's what they claim that the Messiah will appear uh, and then he will disappear. And he will do that on Yom Kippur 2021. And um, I don't know if that's the case, but that's what they're saying. And it's weird that he would just reveal himself and then disappear. But what they do say is that he will reemerge the Messiah on the Jubilee year, which starts... Um, after Yom Kippur, and goes to the the end of uh, 2022, or the beginning of the new year, October 4th and 5th, Next, this would be next year. So, they're claiming that's when Messiah will emerge, re-emerge, essentially, and, and then not go away. And it goes on to say that, like Moses received the Torah down in Sinai, um, the 13 commandments, the... Um, 12 commandments, why did I say 13? Anyway, um, in the desert, they, they're saying the Kabbalah or the Jews, but it's, would receive their you know false Messiah or the Antichrist at that time in the desert. So, it talks about this, you know, protection from the world. And, and again, it's from the Kabbalah, Kabbalistic teachings. And so, and the Talmud. So, I'm not putting a lot of of, of faith in their date setting, I, you know, it's just interesting that, you know, even the evil dark side is looking for the, um, of course, they're looking for the Antichrist, and they would love nothing more to get rid of us at the rapture of the church, our blessed hope as Christians. And so if you're not saved today, you know, the, it, another article showing that we're getting closer to the end times, go ahead and, and use this time to uh, believe with your heart that Jesus Christ is God, is the Messiah, Emmanuel, it means God with us, walking in flesh on the earth 2,000 years ago. He died on the cross, and his blood was shed to forgive you for your sins. Well, if you do believe with your heart that Jesus died on that cross and rose from the dead three days later, and is your Messiah, and you believe that he can cleanse your sins with his blood, then you are forgiven forever. Past, present, future sins all washed away. Except the free gift today before the, this rapture event would occur. Because it appears, even as articles of, like this one show up, that we're getting closer. Also in the news, uh, Saudi Arabia is going to adjoin the Abrahamic Accords. Again, they are strengthening, not weakening. And the Antichrist, I believe, will come in and make some adjustments to this peace accord that many nations have signed on to now, including Saudi Arabia, which is big news. Um especially with the conflict with Iran, that Saudi Arabia is supporting Israel in a peace peace agreement, which, you know, peace and safety, sudden destruction will come in the tribulation. Um, 
You know, I pray for each and every one of us in these end times that we'll get closer to the Lord and be ready for our rapture. If you're not saved, get saved today. God bless and have a great day.